Okay, good day class. Um, my name is J.B. Morales and for today we'll be discussing the first module. And this first module is Mathematics as a Language. In this module we will discuss what is a proposition, what is or what are the operations involving propositions, and finally we discuss mathematically whether an argument is valid or invalid. So let's start. So we start by defining what is a proposition. Basically, a proposition is any declarative statement that is either true or false, but not both. In case the proposition is true, we give a truth value of 1. Other books use the symbol T. In case it is false, we give a truth value of 0. In other books, they use the symbol F. A propositional variable represents a proposition with an undetermined truth value. This means the truth value could be 1 or 0. In our course, we will use uppercase English letters to denote a propositional variable. Now let's take a look at some examples of propositions. Number one, all cows are brown. Number two, the earth is farther from the sun than Venus. Number three, seven times five equals 35. Number four, cutting trees cause flooding in the provinces. Number five, God exists. Number six, x plus two equals five when x equals 5. All of these are declarative statements which can be quantified as either true or false. Let's take a look at the last one. Notice that the last one is a proposition because x plus 2 equals 5 when x equals 5 can be quantified as something that is either true or false. That's what makes number six a proposition. Now let's take a look at not examples of propositions. Number one, look out. Number two, is it time already? Number three, how far is the next town? Four. I am a liar. Number 5, x plus 2 equals 11. Now, if you look at the first three, these are not declarative statements, and therefore, they are not propositions. Meanwhile, for number 5, x plus 2 equals 11 cannot be quantified as a proposition because there's no specific value for x for which we can tell whether the equation is true or false. What about number four? Why do you think number four is a non-example of a proposition? Okay, write your comments below or why you think number four is not a proposition. 